As a YouTuber, I get approached about doing promotions for Audible.com quite frequently, so I thought maybe one of these days I should do one of them because they pay quite well. So back in December, a friend really recommended a book called The Grid, about the electrical power grid, and I thought this is the time to sign up for my free audiobook and listen to it to get a sense of what the service is like before I try to promote it. So on December 20th, I signed up. Uh, I had to use my home phone number because I don't have a good smartphone and this tablet doesn't have a phone number. And I got my account, but uh, then clicking on the uh, link for the book, I couldn't, uh, it, the app would just hang every time I tried to do that. And I couldn't figure out how to actually get to the point where I could listen to the audiobook. And I was very tempted to make a video about uh, Audible sucks that way because I couldn't figure out how to use the app. Um, but then what happened sometime later is my Acer tablet, don't buy Acer tablets, um, failed to boot altogether. I've since been able to restore it by doing multiple factory resets on it. But anyways, before my free trial period expired, um, I called them on January 14th and they were able to show me how to actually listen to it on a PC, although that is really not the intended way of using audible.com. It took a few back and forth before they actually showed me how to do that. Um, I listened to a little bit of that book, but uh, by that time, Rachel had already uh, just signed the book out of the library because she also wanted to read that book, and I just read that one too. Um, so later that day I cancelled my service because it was getting within a few days of the trial period being over and me getting billed for it. And then on January 20th I get an email, uh, redeem your ebook, and I was like, I'm just going to ignore that, I don't want to click on anything because who knows, that might accidentally reactivate the account or something like that. And I got the occasional email from them after that, but I just ignored it because it's like, I'm done with that stuff, I'm not going to use audible.com. Until um, just uh, last weekend, and I was glancing at my credit card thing, and there's a bill for fourteen ninety five from Audible.com. And I'm like, what? I I canceled that, and I looked at my emails. Sure enough, there's the email that confirmed that I had canceled. Um, so the first thing I did was call the credit card company to uh, dispute that, and then the next day I called up uh, Audible and. Uh, asked what the heck is going on here and I said oh it's because you're from Canada and you signed up for audible.com and that automatically also creates an audible.ca account and you only cancelled one of those accounts. What? It's like nowhere was there any email that indicated that a second account had been created on my behalf and the emails I had been receiving didn't say anything about me getting billed for audible.com it was all about uh, redeem your audiobook credit. So what the hell is going on here? Is it just because I'm from Canada? Does everybody who signs up for audible.com from Canada end up with a second account that doesn't get cancelled when you cancel your membership? It just uh, it just seems suspicious. They were uh, very quick to apologize for this and said, yeah, we can fix that, we can refund that. Uh, hopefully they will, it's only been a few days. Um, I suspect this glitch was perfectly intentional. So over those months without checking, I got billed nearly $75 for a free audiobook that I didn't even listen to. Part of it was I didn't like the sound of the narrator at all for that audiobook. But uh, it really makes me question their business practices. I think this sort of oopsie is just part of the business plan. And it really makes me wonder uh, how many YouTubers promoting Audible.com actually use Audible.com. I couldn't find any videos about people explaining similar problems they had with Audible.com on YouTube at all. But I think that's partially because it seems like everybody is either on their pay or wants to be on their pay. So nobody's willing to say anything negative about them. Or at least if there is negative videos, they're so swamped out by positive videos because people are paid to say positive things about audible.com. So my question is, have you had similar experiences or other sort of unexpected billing from audible.com? Leave a comment below.
Because the way I see it, I think this sort of accidental billing is totally part of the business plan.